Hello and welcome to Pattern Making with Lynn Morris. Um, this is a new day. We thank God for this beautiful day. We're carrying on with this design that we've got here. This is the design that we've um, uh, been working on. We've already done the front section of this dress and we're going to go on to the back. So um, you can get your pencil, your ruler, your rubber, your scissors, tape measure and your paper, whether it be spot, spot and cross or plain paper or, or brown paper. Also your notepads if you want to take notes. That's very important so you can go back to your notes. So we're going to begin, but just before we carry on, I just want to take the time out to um, just tell everyone thank you for watching. If you're watching for the first time, wherever you are, whether it's morning, afternoon or evening, thank you for watching. And I hope these lessons will bring value to you as we go along. We are one that make our styles and design from a block, a basic block to your measurements. And once you've got the block, you are well away once you've got your block to fit. So this is what we've been doing all along the journey. So here we go. We're going to go on to doing the back section now. And once again, um, we copy, we start off with our blocks, must have your blocks with you. So we're going to start off with our blocks and which I've already marked off the blocks already, my front and back, which um, these are the pattern piece that we've done for the front and we achieved them from our basic block. So we've done this section and we've done the side, we um, transfer the dart into the seam panel so that we can get a nice fit, a clean fit, fit as we make our garments up. So these are what the front pieces look like. We've got the center front and that is on the open out like that. And then we've got side one side there and that another side. So on there we cut two and on here we cut one. So those are your front pieces. So now this is the, 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 the back block that we've marked off because we go, we don't mark our block up. We always transfer it off and I've extended the length that I want and I've got the dart in there, but I want to make this dart a bit smaller because on my block, it's about an inch and a half and I want to just make it one inch because I don't want it too bulky. And I've also drawn on here my style line for the back because if we looked at the design, we'll see that we've got a deep back neck with the collar coming down. So I've decided where I want it. We've got to keep it the same distance like we had the front. So I've measured back whatever it is and I've put a mark and I've decided how deep down I want it. I don't want it to go too deep that you can see you can wear a bra still with this. If you don't want to wear a bra, if you've got small busts and you can wear, you don't have to wear a bra, you can come down lower with it if you want. But I am doing it so that it will be decent. You can wear your your bra. So I take the line. I've taken a straight line down to the center. This is the center of the back. And I've marked that on. I've kept my balance mark on for the, um, the in the armhole. And I've got my waist notch there. And I've got a mark there and the extended for the skirt. So once I've got that, I'm going to start to begin to make the pattern for it. So I'm going to draw a straight line on my paper. Um, the new sheet of paper that you've got. And in the... This instance, I'm also just going to put on my centimeter seam allowance on here, down the back. I'm just going to mark on a centimeter all the way down to the bottom. And then I'm going to place my block onto that first line that I've drawn like that. You can put some weight on so that it doesn't move. You just put a weight on there and then you just mark around the shape. So we're going to take it around the neck and around the shoulders, around the armhole. And don't forget to put in your balance mark in 
and I'm going to mark along there and I'm just going to put a notch there for the waist and I'm going to just come up the side here right around there and I'm also going to mark along the bottom and draw a straight line and while I'm at it I'm going to put a mark where I want it to finish and where that mark is and then I'm going to put the waist dart in and I'm going to transfer the dart onto my new piece of pattern that I've marked on there. So once I've done that, I'm going to take my, my block, my draft, because this is what I'm calling my draft off, and I'm going to transfer all the marks that I've got in, my darts in. And don't forget, I, I'm not going to put this dart in because it's an inch and a half. I only want to make it an inch. So I'm going to get rid of half an inch through the waist at the side and at the center back. So once I've got that in, um, just connect up this line here and connect up this line. And then I'm going to take a straight line from there. That's where I want my, my back neck, my neck to come. But halfway through it, I'm going to give it slightly curve. I'm going to slightly curve it a little bit instead of a straight line. So I just take a quarter of an inch in and then back into that line. So I've got a slightly curved um, line. So it's not dead straight. So with my curve, I'm just going to just curve that a slightly curve back into there. So that we get a nice line like that instead of a straight line so this is the line that i'm going to use so on my dart section i'm going to take a quarter of an inch out because i want to want it to be one inch on the back so i'm going to take a quarter of an inch out there from there to there a quarter and then i'm going to reconnect my shape of my dart in so this is now my new shape dart after i have taken that out I've made it smaller and then I'm going to just take out a quarter of an inch here the set the, the amount that I've taken out here I'm going to take it from the side so I've marked it in and I'm going to take it from the the waist here and then I'm also going to tighten up this line because I want it to be fitting my back neck quite um, firmly so I'm going to pinch out a quarter of an inch out of here, this line. So I'm going to go back a quarter and I'm going to take it back into that line there, like that. And then I'm going to come back into my, my hip with that. So these are the two new lines that I've got here. This one going back into there. I'm going to straighten up this line at the bottom. So what I can do now, you can rub out these lines so you don't get confused. So I'm going to take out this line now, this first dart shape that I have. I'm just going to rub that out and see so you can see the new one that I've got in there. Let's just connect that back up and connect that up. And I can rub out this straight line that I've got on here. So my shape now looks like that. I've now got a nice shape in here sort of shape that in so we've got a nice shape and then um, what I'm going to do is just also add my one centimeter by shaping that in and take it back up to that point here from there one centimeter in and give it the one centimeter shape so that is my shape now onto there So I've taken that in, so I've just got a centimeter on there. So that is my line and I've got my seam. So all of these lines here now are not going to be used. So these are the new lines that I've got, the thicker ones that I've drawn on here, along there, and it goes back into that one all the way down like that. So it's slightly shaped in there because I've taken out a quarter 
out there and I'm taking a quarter in there as well. So now I'm going to come in from under the arm there and I'm going to go in and I'm going to take it back out back into the hip, the hip. So we get a nice smooth line round. So these lines now we can take out along there. So that is now my new shape. So once I've got that, I'm just going to now add my seam allowance, a quarter of an inch round there, because we've shaped, we can take that straight line out, because we've now got slightly shaped um, neckline, and it's quarter of an inch smaller. So it's, it's tightening up the neckline. So all we do is just add your cent um, a quarter of an inch round the neck, because we don't need more than that, to attach the collar. And then we put a centimetre on the shoulder seam. And we've got to check that they match to the back, to the front. And then we've got a centimetre around the armhole there. And then we've got a centimetre on the bottom, like we've got on the front. But we've got to check the side seam to make sure we've got them matching to the front. So we just take that all the way up, all the way around, follow it round, follow it round, follow the round, the shape round, and we've got this a centimetre going on into there like that. And we just follow the shape round. We could do curve that round with our our curve, so we get a nice curve if you're not able to curve it round yourself. So that is now your waist start, your waist. And then halfway between here, the waist and the hem, we're going to put another notch, that's balanced notches. And then we're going to put a notch where the zip comes. So we want the, we're going to put a 22 inch zip in, or we can put an 18 inch. So you measure from there down or eight inches down from your, from your waist, your, your um, zip position. And then we just put two little notches in. And before we do anything else, we're going to use, we're going to put the grain line on, which is parallel to your centre back. So we can use that line there for the grain line. In here where we're drawing it, or we can use this one up to here because it's shaped in now. So it's best to use that one parallel to this one. So that is your grain. So we're going to come back down three quarters of an inch. We're going to come put a, a circle around where the dart is and we're going to go up um three quarters of an inch or half an inch for the position of the dart so once we've got that we then check to see that everything matches and we write on here back cut two so that is your back section and once we've got that we just get hold of our front pattern pieces that we've already made and we're going to check to see that the side seam and the shoulder ma matches. So first of all, we do the shoulders. So we line that up to there and we know that it matches. So that is our shoulder. And then we match our side seam to make sure the notches matches. And we know that they're matching there and there, and that's the side. So once we're happy with that, we can take that first one out and this is the second one. We put a little mark across there. So once we've got that, we're ready to cut out our shape. So that is the back section done. And the next thing we need to do is to make the facing for the, the front and the back. So if I just cut out this shape here on the, the back, the back neck so I can show you how so this line is slightly curved it's not straight anymore because we want it to be we've given it a little bit so that it can be tightened up so we're going to take off our sh uh, cut around the armhole we just cut out the whole thing because we know that we've checked it and we know that it, the side seam fits onto the front side seam because if they don't fit then you get into trouble so it's always best to check your pattern piece to make sure that all the pattern piece fits together before you start to cut anything out so 
um, we just go up the center back. It's slightly curved in at the waist. So you just follow the shape. The reason why we've curved it in a bit because we take tightening up the back neck and also making it smaller, the bust, the back waist dart in there. So that is your back. So to make the facing for the back neck, all we do is on another sheet of paper, we're going to mark around from the back, round the neckline and across the shoulders like that and once we've got that we can move that out of the way and you can make your facing about an inch and a half wide an inch and a half wide down there all the way so we just take it all the way down we follow that shape all the way so that gives us your facing and you reshape it in and then you put your grain line on there it can be parallel to that line again so We'll use that as the grey line there. And this is your centre back. It's already got the seam on, so always do is mark the seam allowance on the back. And we've got it on the shoulders already, so we just mark it on the inside of that line. And this is now your back neck facing, and we're going to cut two of those plus one fuse, plus one fuse you cut the fuse so that it's nice and firm and to do the facing for the front we're going to also use the pattern piece that we have for the front on the fold we're going to fold the paper over so that we use it on the fold so that is the back neck facing there so we can cut that out after and then we're going to fold the paper now and we're going to make the front neck facing. So we're going to place the centre front onto your fold of your paper like that. And we're going to place the side front. We're going to take the seam allowance off. So we place that seam onto the seam, that seam line there. And we then mark around the neckline once we've got that so we've got the shape that we need and we've got the seam allowance on it so you just mark around there you mark a bit along the shoulder you know you've got your seam allowance on the shoulder you can put those pieces away and then what we do is when we cut out the back facing we're going to check that the shoulders are matching because that's very important that the shoulders match when we cut out the back neck. When we cut out the facing from the back, so we know that is the centre back and the top of this facing is the shoulder. So you place that shoulder onto, onto that um, shoulder at the front and you make sure that they're both the same length on the shoulder so you put a mark and then all you do is just take that same amount of measurement whatever that is you keep it all the way round so you get a nice round shape so that is now your front neck facing and you're going to cut one of those plus one fuse and then you use the center front as your green line again that's your grain line and then you just cut out your shape so that is now your facing you've got your front center front you've got your side front you've got your back you've got your back neck facing along there and this is your front neck facing i'm just going to cut that out cut out the facing like that so you cut every piece that you need to, to uh, make up your garment when you're making your pattern. Very important. So you've got all the pieces, so you know, so that is your facing that goes onto there when it's joined. When you've joined your, your panel seam, that's your back neck facing. Those are your facing that you need. So we're now just going to go on to the sleeve and... Um, and show you how we create the sleeve 
So once again, we copy off the block and I'm going to cut that out. We're going to um, cut that out, but just before we cut it out, let's just put the seam allowance on, onto there. Actually, before we go on to the, doing the sleeve, we need, you know what we need to create? We need to create the, the go day that is going on into the back. So let's just do that first and then we can go on to the sleeve. Um, we might have to cut, break and come back to it. So basically, when we, um, we decide on how long we want the go day to be. So I'm just going to make mine, put mine there just below the hip. So it's really, it's long. So once I've got that, I'm going to take the measurement for that. And I'm going to make my go day. So this is, you can do this two ways. So I'm just going to do this. I'm showing you one, number one way first. And maybe another time we can show you how to do the other one. So whatever that is, 16 inches or whatever the measurement you're going to use. We're going to fold a piece, a sheet of paper. And on the fold, we're going to measure whatever that measurement that we got. So, so from there to there, that's what we got. So we've got that measurement there. And then with your, your tape measure, what we're going to do, we're going to measure from that point as far as we can to get the, the flounce of the go day. So with your tape measure, from that top measurement that we've got here, we're going to measure from there. You put your tape measure into that position and we're going to make sure it's right at the top there and you've got to pivot this. So each section we do, we mark it and we pivot it as far as we can go to get the flare at the bottom. But it's got to your tape measure has got to be on that spot that you make. You can make it even to a half circle if you want. So I'm just going to measure it as round as far as I, I can go. And I'm going to draw the line up to there. So I'm going to smooth my line round. It's becoming like a circle, but all you do is just follow that round. So you get a nice shape there. You can curve it around. So after you've done that, I'm just going to put my seam allowance on here, which is a centimetre. And I'm also going to put a centimetre around the bottom because that's what I have allowed on the other pieces, a centimetre. So therefore, what's happening, um, that, that point there is going to be joined into that point and I'm going to get to that point there. So it sits, it fits into that area. So this is where the point is going to be that I want my notch, not there, that one. So I'm going to put a notch there because it's going to fit into there like that, onto there, and then it's going to flute all the way back once that's joined in. You can either, you can also make that longer if you want. You can take it down longer so it's longer in that section, the center of it, if you want. If you want it to keep it the same, like I've done that, that's how you do it. But if you, for example, you want it to be an inch and a half or two inches longer, you just measure down inch and a half, two inches, and then you've got to take it back up to that point. So it's got to come back up to there. So it does that. So you get it longer at that position, at the center back. And a matter of fact, we should do that because that looks looks quite nice when it's finished. So that will be your shape. So you can take those lines out along there and then you just add, mark your one centimetre seam allowance on. So it's longer at that centre back than it is at the front. So that is how you make, you make the go day and you just write on there, cut one. And the grain line goes in the centre here. So you cut that out. You can open it out wider if you want. But I don't want it too, too wide. So I've taken it only up to there. But you can make it wider if you want. 
So that is what the shape looks like. And then you just open out because it's just one piece. And then you can put your green line <coughs> in the center. You can cut it that way. Or you can also cut it that way if you wish to do that. So you've got to go have smooth lines along there. So that is your go day. If you want it to be fuller, you can slash up there to that point halfway you can slash you can open it out more so it gets like a circle or a half circle but i don't mind it too too full so that is fine for me so that is the bit that you set in your go day goes into that section of the back and it fits into there and it just flutes onto there like that it drops back down and forms and give you that swing as you're going along so that's how you create your go day that's your go day bit and um, we're going to break and come back to do the sleeves bye <laughs>